in topping the trenders chart this week. First they tell us the Earth's not flat. Now we're finding out it's not straight either. Bridging the divide, Minnesota moves forward on the civil rights issue of our time. Our country's most important progress has been to extend those equal rights and protections to everyone. The state becomes the 12th in the nation to legalize same-sex marriage. It has always been the next step ahead to fulfilling this country's promise to every American. Joining me now is actor and national spokesperson for GLAAD, Wilson Cruz, and gay rights activist Mike Rogers, managing director for Raw Story. Gentlemen, great to have you with us tonight. Mike, you first. Nobody has fought the Minnesota gay marriage more than Michelle Bachman. But this week, she uh, only responded with a lame tweet. She says, I'm proud to have introduced the original traditional marriage amendment. And I thank all Minnesotans who have worked so hard on this issue. Which brings me to the question, Mike, do Republicans know that they have been defeated on this issue? Well, any of them that are forward-looking, Ed, certainly Republicans who are under the age of 40 get it. Uh, the anti-marriage equality camp is really the old vestiges of a dying party uh, who are trying to use this to rile their base, but unfortunately are turning off the rest of America with this hateful campaign. Wilson, the Supreme Court is going to decide this issue uh, probably next month. What do you expect? Well, you know, historically, it's the role of the courts to protect people's rights and to decide what's just and fair. And, you know, we, uh, we hope that at the end of June, the Supreme Court will side on the, will rule on the side of fairness and equality um, and rule in favor of freedom to marry. But can I just jump on, just, just answer the question, the last question, sure, which was, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to really paint the Republican Party in, in broad strokes. You know, people like Ken Melman and Paul Singer have really done a great job of talking of having conversations with our Republican friends um, and have really moved the conversation in a way that we've never expected it to even year, a few years ago. So, you know, we've got leaders like Senator Rob Portman and Mark Kirk, um, you know, uh, Congressman Ed Sullivan, who actually support the freedom to marry. And um, they're being very helpful and they're leading that conversation within their very own party. You tell me you trust the Republican movement and the conservative movement in this country to to, to do uh, equal and fair rights for gay Americans? I trust the Republican Party to see where the American people are moving. Um, and I think we see that 58% of American people um, are on the side of the freedom to marry. Mike, and what do you think about that? Well, I think that it's twofold. I think that Wilson and, of course, I mean, GLAD does amazing work around this, are right. We have folks like Ken Melman and Rob Portman who are on the right side. But you'll notice, Ed, that whenever one of these guys seems to come and do the right thing, it's always because they have a personal reason. Rob Portman has a kid who is gay. Yeah. Um, Ken Melman himself comes out and then is for equal rights, where these people, before they knew an LGBT person, were willing to throw us under the bus. I agree with Wilson that it's important for our community to work those angles, but I also think it's important to recognize that 98% yeah. or so of this hate is coming from the GOP. It is hate, too. Let's, let's be very clear yes. about that. Mike, do you think that John Roberts, uh, Supreme Court Justice, gives a damn about equal rights for gay Americans? I think John Roberts is a corporatist. I think that he is there to rule on a whole lot of tax and corporate issues. I think that's why he was put in. I think that, I, I think maybe he does care, he doesn't care. I don't think he wants to have, go down in history as anybody who has taken away rights that yeah. have been earned from people. He's not that naive that he would not want that to be his legacy. I can pretty Wilson, much guarantee that. Wilson, what's it say about Midwestern states like Iowa and Minnesota I really have led on this issue? Uh, will the rest of the country and other states catch on? Well, you know, we're already seeing that, you know, America is evolving on this issue, just like our president has, like so many people in the, along the political spectrum have evolved. Um, but, you know, we just, just in the last couple of weeks, we saw Rhode Island and Delaware join the ranks of states that um, have the freedom to marry. Um, we're seeing movement in states like Illinois and Oregon and Nevada. And just this week, we saw polls that pointed towards a majority of people in the states of Michigan and Virginia and Arizona. So um, the country is really having these conversations and um, and and let's let's not minimize the fact that it's really personal experiences and personal stories and the fact that people are really talking about these issues that is really leading well, that, to the change that we're seeing and that's what that's a key in point when it comes to Republicans and the conservative movement that it's not coming from the heart 
And it's not coming from how they, you know, feel other Americans should be treated. It's coming from the politics of it all, that they stand to lose, and they stand to lose power if they don't move forward on this issue. Mike? Well, yes, and I think it really, if you look at the course of history, that to think that a few years ago how the country has just swung so incredibly, it's as been amazing. Wilson has stated, yeah. just, it is, it's really amazing, and I think you're right. I, I think that, you know, they want, they're so desperate for power, but That's all they thought? care about. Got to run, gentlemen. Right. Great to have you on. Wilson Cruz, Mike Rogers, always. Thank you thank for you. being on The Ed Show tonight. Thank you for having me. Up next, we'll dig into the politics of distraction, find out why Republicans are suddenly afraid they're afraid of talking about the deficit. Come on. The numbers are better. We're right back.